This is what I came to Mexico for. Good morning guys. So after days and days of scorching heat here in Puerto Escondido, we finally had a bit of a cloudy day with some rain. It's actually not as cloudy anymore, but it was before. Which is why me along with some of my friends decided to make the most out of this day and head over to what I believe is inarguably one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Puerto Escondido. And it is one of those spots that you absolutely cannot miss. Today, we're going to Playa Carazalillo. As long as Todd doesn't crash the scooter and he's not Todd at all. bit lost at first because for some reason this beach won't show up on Google Maps but then we ran into this really friendly locals uh, while we were driving by asked them for directions and now they're actually taking us to the beach how friendly are Mexican people Thanks guys. Thank you. So just a quick little update on the locals that I was just talking about. They only brought us to the beach so they could sell us cocaine. Just saying. When we were getting off the scooters, they asked us if we wanted to buy cocaine. And Carl was like, not. Nah. Just thought I'd let you guys know. So every time you go to the beach here in Puerto Escondido, masks are mandatory. We were just walking in without the mask first. And the guy who was just like sitting over there asked us to put these on, which kind of doesn't make any sense because, you know, once we are down there, we're going to be taking these off anyway. But rules are rules. Got to be respectful. And guys, you got to check out this beach. It is absolutely spectacular. This is actually like a great spot for like beginner surfers. Um, but if you're a pro surfer, you probably would not want to come here because there's just like way too many people out here like all the time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys. Hands down, one of my favorite beaches here in Puerto Escondido. I've actually been here once before. We also have little shacks out here just to get some coconut water or food. Actually, the food out here is absolutely delicious. Um, last time I was here, we got some um, nachos with guacamole and some tacos. Classic Mexican food, but... So it's not really much of a cloudy day anymore because the sun is back up, but regardless, it just feels amazing, guys. This water, look how freaking blue this water is, first of all. The sand is just like drifting from like under my feet right now. This is what I came to Mexico for. Not gonna lie, the waves are a little bit rough. Not exactly swimmable, but that does not stop me. Carl is actually still at the beach because he's a little too afraid right now. So the rest of the guys are also here. We were just in the water and got absolutely blasted by the waves, guys. This beach, as beautiful as it is, it's just the waves are so powerful like they will absolutely crush you if you can't swim so we swam for like about 10 minutes and then i just had to like come back to the beach and just be able to breathe again you know found myself a quiet little corner Woo! looking right at the beach this is so perfect He was at the beach yesterday and just look how red his legs are because he got sunburned so that's what happens when you don't wear sunscreen here in Mexico because the sun out here guys is absolutely brutal I don't really have to worry about getting sunburned though because I'm not white all right guys so here's a wrap to an epic day here at the Caras Leo beach hey Pascal can you say the name of the beach so I know how to say it again Caris Leo Caris Leo okay okay not perfect day but getting there next time I say it, it'll be better but yeah guys that 
That swim in the beach was exhausting because the waves were just so powerful and it just takes so much energy out of you. So I just can't wait to get back home, get some food first of all because I'm starving. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.